Hello, Sean B. Bradley and the group. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hi. There you go. Hello. All right, so what we're going to talk about right now is a very, very strong goal planning exercise. I mentioned that the former CEO of Dealer Skins, Gabriel Crouch, should actually show this to me. Gabriel, if you watch this on YouTube, uh, the first day that he did the executive training for, for me, he said, draw three boxes. And I was really upset because this guy was like a CEO and you know super brilliant and he has me draw these three silly boxes. But they changed my life, they really did. What I want you to do above them is write goal, definition, action. Okay, this is what the problem is, is that most people aren't able to clearly articulate what they want, except for, you know, I want to be rich, I want to be successful, I want to be the best, I want to be this, I want to be that. So for whatever your role is, substitute in here, since this is primarily about the coordinators, we're going to state that the goal is I want to be the number one coordinator in the world. Okay, so that's what goal is. The goal is for this exercise. I want to be the number one internet coordinator on planet Earth. That's it, like Duck Dodgers. I want to be the best, right? Are you guys with me? Who wants to be the best? This is on video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. So I want to be the best. I want to be the number one coordinator in the world. Now watch, let's go here. What does that mean? Well, you're to make the most appointments. Okay, most appointments. What else? Um, best uh, customer service while keeping sales in mind. Come sense? walk with me. What else? Um, setting the most appointments out of your group and your department. Um, being the best to help them find what they want. Say again. Being the best to help them find what they want. Okay. Setting the most appointments out of anyone ever being able to talk anyone and uh, making the appointment. Exceeding the 120 phone call goal. Making more than 120 phone calls. I gotta tell you, I am so proud of you all. I mean, we're, we're on the right track. Let's go back over here though. The goal is I wanna be the number one coordinator in the world. You will never ever be the number one coordinator if you first cannot define what it means to be the best. That's where everybody you know, kind of messes up. I wanna be rich, really quantify that. What does that mean? How much money, how much net, how much assets, how much you know, equity, how much you know, uh, real estate, whatever. For you all, you, you need to create the list. So one was making the most appointments, making more than 120 phone calls per day. What else did we say? Helping people, you know, giving the best customer service. So giving the best customer service. Anything else? People in the back, let's ask them. What, anything, like for the coordinator. Can you guys, what does it mean to have the best coordinator work for your organization? What else do they have? Best information? What does it mean, best information? They're qualified questions. They're the best at qualifying and identifying wants, wishes, needs. They're the best at qualifying their prospects. Awesome. Anything else? Making people like them over a phone call. You know, being able to build a rapport. <clears throat> Write this stuff down. This is really good stuff. Being able to get, you know, create a rapport with their prospects. Uh, what else? Being able to use the tools that they have. Be, like what? See, that's what I mean. It's ambiguous. What tools? A hammer and a pencil? I mean, like, I'm not being facetious, but seriously, be specific. What tools? The website, the lead management tool? Mm -hmm. See, that's a whole different way that you articulate this stuff. I wouldn't put be best at tools, I'd be specific. They have to be the best at ABB web control, because the group is using ABB web, web control. So they have to be you know, like Jedi masters at ABB web control. They've got to know how to function inside out of their website. They need to be able to use their dealership website like a PowerPoint presentation, right? Can I give a couple on my own? How about having the most industry knowledge? Meaning, sh if you're gonna be a great coordinator, shouldn't you have the most knowledge of third party providers and aggregators? Shouldn't you know everything about Cars Direct, AutoBytel, AutoTrader.com, Delix, um, CarSmart, Cars.com? Does that make sense? How about product knowledge? Shouldn't you know a lot or the most about you know, your Chrysler, Dodge, you know, Jeep, Rams, Buicks, Toyotas, GMCs, your used cars, right? How about the most automotive knowledge? You should also know uh, what, what happens when they come into the store. What are the different processes and procedures within your dealership? I'm just getting warmed up. Keep writing, because look, 
You see, this is, not, this is now not a mere silly, innocuous, benign box. It is now a detailed action, you know, I mean, definition script. Okay, you should have stuff like this. How about having the fastest response times? If you want to be the best internet coordinator, you have to have the fastest response times. Like uh, you went back over there, the most amount of phone call attempts, the most amount of connections, the most amount of appointments, the most amount of appointment confirmations, the most amount of appointment shows, the most amount of you know, appointment shows that are deliveries, the highest gross profit. Woo, now we're getting somewhere, right? Now we're actually identifying what it means to be the best internet coordinator. We ain't talking about it, we're gonna be about it. If you don't articulate, if you don't visualize, it'll never materialize. If you don't articulate, it'll never manifest. I just wanna be the best coordinator. You see my definition of being the best coordinator versus just like the average person? It's totally two different depths of reality. And there's more. And that's the homework we're going to go into later, is coming up with all the different things that make you the best internet coordinator. But is that enough? Time check. No, time checks, what is that? 6.09. Okay, we get, stop me at nine minutes. Okay, so right now, we've come up with a goal. We've said, I want to be the number one internet coordinator on the planet. I want to be the number one internet coordinator on the planet. Step one of making that happen <coughs> is defining what does that goal mean. Well, and we just did a lot of that. We just got like, what, about 10 or 15 different things, at least? It's probably more, but after you do that, is that enough? Is, is, are we gonna be able to achieve our goals just by stating them? Check it out, I'm gonna try right now. I wanna be the heavyweight boxer of the world. I wanna be the number one champ. I'm gonna get knocked out like Chris Tucker did, right? I mean, like getting Friday. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about? You can't, you can't just say something, and I, because I know that to be a heavyweight boxer, I need this, this, and this. Can I, am I really gonna be a heavyweight boxer? No, it ain't gonna happen, not in this lifetime. So goals have to be realistic. I think everybody on the front row has the opportunity, ability, and reality to be the number one coordinator. Second thing is if you define it, here's where it gets hard. Why don't people lift weights loud? They're heavy. I can't hear you one more time. Why don't people lift weights? They're heavy. Because they're heavy. Now, let's go to here, I'm gonna give you an example. If I said here, my goal is I want to be the number one internet coordinator on the planet, correct? Yep. Okay. Then I define what it is, and one of the variables is I wanna have the most third party knowledge. I wanna know the most about auto vital, auto traders, and all that. That's the definition, right? The action is how am I going to do it? So what you do is, like, let's say if these were numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on then you should have correlating actions for each of them. So if this one said third party knowledge, I would create an action plan. Mike, this is very important. Christy, I know you're behind the camera, pay attention. If I wanna have the most third party knowledge and information that I would create on my calendar on a weekly basis, this is just an idea, that every Monday and Friday, I'm gonna spend 25 minutes and 30 minutes doing research on the different third party providers. So that's one action for that. And then once a month, I'm gonna have one of these vendors come into this beautiful facility right here and go online, because you already got the PowerPoint, I mean, you already got the projector, you already got the beautiful computer here. Why can't Cars Direct come right there, sit right there and, and turn off the lights and explain to you all about Cars Direct? You're spending, you're getting, I'm on video, I slow down. You're paying a lot, you're investing a lot of money in Auto Trader, right or wrong people. Why isn't the auto trader rep sitting right there on the projector walking your team through auto trader? Think about this. Not to sell you, but to explain to you the values of auto trader. Who better than the auto trader rep to teach the coordinators, teach the salespeople what prospects see, click, feel when they go to autotrader.com? You're already paying them, right? Get, invest your time in getting your vendors and hold them accountable to come teaching you. Another thing, if you want to have the most Industry knowledge for internet departments. Right? Again, if you want to be the number one internet coordinator, you need to know about automotive internet sales. How do you do that? Well, you can read free articles on Auto Success Magazine, on automotiveinternetsales.com, on digitaldealer.com, on Auto um, Dealer Monthly, or what have you. You could go to all these magazines. So now let me recap before this runs out. State the goal, define the goal, and create an action plan. All right, and you might want to rewind this. Stop. 